What is up guys, this is Brandon here, back with another video, and today, I will be showing you guys how to funnel dragons. So, a lot of people just attack and throw their dragons down in either one spot or they spread them out right away. Like, I want to show you guys how to actually funnel dragons to get them to go after the air defense or the air sweeper. Or anything else that you want them to go after. I would suggest the air defense or air sweeper. But I usually go after air defenses. So I'll show you a bunch of replays on how to funnel dragons. So I'll start with mine. And I was doing this attack on number 10 since I was number 9 or more. And this was a pretty easy base to dragon funnel so i took out the farthest the farthest spread out air defense which is way on the other side while two air defenses right here and here were just sitting right there so i put a dragon down to take out the air sweeper over there and it looks like he's gonna get a tesla too and then I clear surrounding buildings on the outside so I can get my funnel going towards the center. So this is how I this is how I normally do it. I clear all the outside buildings with a couple of dragons, then place a whole bunch of them in the center. And then I place a rage uh, along with my balloons behind my dragons. And they took on both their defenses already. So this, as you can tell, is going to be a three star there's no doubt about it but yeah that's how you funnel them in to go after their defense so i placed a rage or a rage right there right around here these walls and placed the balloons right behind my dragons so that the balloons got ra enraged and the whole clump of dragons got enraged to go after the air defense so the air defense could go down soon po as soon as possible so that it wouldn't kill any more dragons and I place the the haste in the center to make the dragons go a little bit faster so that they could clear the high hit point uh, buildings quicker, such as the town hall, the gold storage, elixir storage. And yeah, that's a three star by me on a dragon attack. So I usually save my barbarian king for last just in case there's a couple buildings that the dragons missed and running out of time or something but yeah that's it for that attack and now i want to show you guys an attack by one of my clan mates named spud they said that they that i was allowed to show some replays so i'm going to show you guys some replays of theirs this granted wasn't a three star but it still was a very good dragon attack that's the Town Hall 8 special, I guess. We always do dragon attacks in this clan. Even when some bases are better for go wipes, usually people use dragon attacks. Not necessarily in, just in this clan, in any clan. See, this is what I mean. I, she's spreading them out, but I would... I mean, they start to funnel into the center. She's mainly using her balloons to take out the air defenses, but I usually like to precisely funnel so clear the outside buildings first and then place a clump in the center and that's been working for me very very well so it looks like one of their defenses are down already and another dragon's about to take out the second air defense and then there's just one more air defense standing in the way right in between an arch tower and a wizard tower and it's just taking out dragon after dragon i think that's what's going to tear this attack apart and that's why i don't do double rage heal attacks for dragons i use double lightning earthquake rage so i dropped the earthquake on the air defense first because you're always supposed to do that because it takes it out if you drop it on after it doesn't but yeah so you drop the earthquake on the air defense you want to take out first and then you place the double lightning on it and then you use the rage to funnel your dragons into the center to take out the air defense or air sweeper so this attack is going to be an 87 percent and it was overall pretty well executed just that one air defense killed everything 
And yeah, the dragons are going down. So there's a very well executed attack by Spud, but in my opinion, I don't like those. Uh, I don't like those kind of attacks. The ones where you use double heal rage because I don't know. It's just it just doesn't work for me. I've tried it several times before. All right, so this one is by Lou, I believe that's pronounced. I honestly don't know, because I just joined this clan. Well, I've been with this clan for a while, then I left to join a friend's clan, and I came back, and this is a new member, so, I mean, yeah. I don't really honestly know how to pronounce his name, but... He is going to do a... Oh, wow, he's a town hall nine, so he has a four... He has four places for his spells. He used four lightning and two earthquake. He took out two of their defenses very easily. Just as the way I explained before. He's doing the thing where you take out the outside buildings first. And then you put a clump of dragons to push to the, to the center. He's doing exactly how I do it. Alright, so he's, he's using a pretty well executed attack right here. Already, he's got all their defenses down and a whole clump of balloons moving to all the defenses that stand in the dragon's way. The only thing that would really kill the dragons very fast is the arch towers and the hidden tesles. The hidden tesles do work. They're ridiculous. So it looks like a dragon's about to take out one of the hidden teslas and he's about to move on to the second one right now. He's going to take that one out and now there's nothing else to stand in their way. So the balloon just took out a cannon. He's going after the arch tower, but dies before he gets it. And he still has an arch queen and a barbarian king. So this was a very well executed attack overall. And a three star as well. Just going to fast forward a little bit. And he's going to take out the skeletons from the skeleton trap. And there goes the arch tower. So very well executed attack, and there should be one more, I believe. I'm not sure if there is, but I will check. Looking for the other one by Spud. Okay, here. So Spud is the one who did that 87% dragon attack. It was very well executed, just doesn't, didn't get that third air defense. And now she's attacking someone with... Four air defenses and an air sweeper. So I am usually terrified of attacking Town Hall 9s because of their four air defenses and three seeking air mines, I believe. And she's going at it and she's going to take out this first, this first air defense. And that rage could have been better placed, but yeah, she takes out the first air defense and now she's about to take out an expo which is air targeting so you want to take those out as soon as possible she's going to take out another air defense this is her second one i believe she's going to take it out yes she does she takes out her third air defense and i believe she took out her fourth while we were watching the third so all that stands in her way is the fifth she heals try to keep that dragon alive to take out the air defense and that air defense has a little bit of health left while the drag's trying to kill the dark elixir storage. The dark elixir storage has a pinch of health left. And so does that air defense. But the drags just don't get to it. Kind of like the last replay that I showed you of hers. So her barbarian king also got killed by the enemy barbarian king. Even though she popped his ability. Which is pretty crazy to me. I guess there are defenses. But still. Okay so there's a 76%. Very well executed, but it's a Town Hall 9, 4 defenses, 3 seeking air mines. There's a bunch of stuff standing in her way, especially since she's a Town Hall 8. So, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you use the various techniques that were showed in this video for dragon funneling. And, see you in the next video. Peace.